Hello, banker. Might have to brace yourself. The view is not entirely favourable. So twenty-five thousand pounds. <laughs> Your town, your street, your home, it's all in our database. New technology means it's easy to pay your TV license and impossible to hide if you don't. It's all in the database. We have an aggressive culture. You two work for the BBC. I worked for the BBC for 30 years. When I was at the BBC, it promoted the licence fee by saying how wonderful it was. Because let's face it, the BBC licence fee is astonishing value. Put it against EasyJet return flights, first great western on the railways and whatever. Astonishing value. But now, the organisation you work for says, we know where you are. Aunties put boxing gloves on, and I was so incensed by the idea that I'm guilty of something that I actually cancelled my TV licence fee a few months ago. Because yeah. I'm not going to have the BBC or any organisation threatening me. Do you still have a television? Okay. I've cancelled my TV licence and they haven't found me. Nobody's come knocking on the door. And it's a serious point. It's a serious point. It's a serious point to make. There are too many organisations, and the BBC is a fabulous organisation, but seem to think it's okay to badger, hector, and threaten people. Noel Edmonds has recently announced on the BBC News that he has cancelled his TV licence, yet still owns a TV. We asked the general public what they thought about this. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, it's up to him, isn't it? So what do you think of the licence fee? I'm sorry. What are you apologising for? I'm sorry. The President is an utter moron. That's not what I asked. Should Noel Edmonds get away with it? I'm not mad. Do you think Noel Edmonds should be fined? No, of course not. Are you showing the public what they should do? Do you think that the licence fee is good value for money? Yes, indeed. Get away from me! Um, okay, I'll leave you to it. Oh, the licence fee! Oh, it's fantastic! It's quality programming on the BBC, and it means lots of fantastic things. We don't have any commercials, no product placement, everything is fabulous. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. So there you have it, some very mixed opinions. The BBC have said that Noel Edmonds knows the laws. However, they have not mentioned anything about the matter, or whether he's been fined. So, will he? We'll just have to find out.